So, um, I've been having some issues with uh, micro stuttering in E3D version 4.3. Uh, I didn't have these micro stutters in the 4.2 version. So, been quite new for me. Uh, and I've tried for like a month now to get rid of those stutters and I think I found a solution actually uh, it seems that uh, your monitors refresh rate plays a big part of this um, I'm on a 60 hertz uh, 4K uh, TV actually. Uh, it's a LG 65 inch 4K TV. Uh, at this point, I've been running the monitor at 60 hertz, no V sync, nothing. I don't get uh, screen tearing, which is good, uh, but I do get the micro stuttering. So I guess you can see it's on the video. Stutters a little bit even though the FPS is high so it's mainly not uh, related to your FPS unless you're under like 25 20 FPS uh, so once again here's the micro stuttering see it clearly on the winglet so let's fix this I guess uh, first thing I did was head into the settings I turned on the v-sync and triple buffering I locked the FPS at 32 so still 60 hertz. Let's check the stutters. As you can see, it's some stutters. The wing lights. So, next thing, I went into the NVIDIA control panel. As you can see, I'm on 4K res, native resolution, 60 hertz. So I lowered it to 30 hertz. Apply. And yes. Close that up. And back to pet. Your mouse cursor will be <laughs> the stuttery part now. Uh, yeah. It's not as smooth as with 60 hertz, but the stutters, as you can see, it's way smoother. Uh, the down part of this is the sharpness. look at the Star Alliance logo now it's quite sharp as soon as I move it's get, it gets a bit blurry so that's the down part uh, you also get some some ghosting effects uh, if you look at the winglets 
but at least you get the start of start a free experience which is good uh, I haven't tried this in air looking down at the scenery so I don't I don't know how it will affect the sharpness of the scenery so feel free to try this on your uh, simulator and uh, please report back on uh, how this worked out for you uh, and the reason why I set the FPS limiter to 32 is I get stable 30 FPS and I do that so if I study to 30 I guess I will have like 28 uh, it's 30 so that's uh, 29 it, it drops a bit so uh, let's check the winglet again and the Star Alliance logo still a bit blurry but well. and it seems like yeah we we got stutters again yep stutters so back to 32 there we go 32 and let's check We're starter free again. Okay, so 32 seems to be the value to set. 30 gives stutters, above 32 gives stutters. Um, using B sync off gives stutters. So 30 hertz on the monitor, 32 locked in. P3D and E-Sync and triple buffer on. That's gonna be my setting for now. Uh, unless my senior gets way way too blurry. Uh, doesn't seem that I got any screen tearing. That's also good. So. Well, uh, like I said, feel free to try this and please report back on how well or how bad it worked for you. And uh, I hope you have safe landings and will have a wonderful day. So, see you soon.